expectations and hopes in your first major league spring training? Uh, you know, I'm just very grateful for the opportunity uh, in big league spring training. Um, you know, after having a great year, uh, you know, just kind of put that behind you and, you know, just kind of try to get that momentum to this year and just have a great season. You've uh, been yeah. pretty open about your goals for this year. Just how much added focus or motivation does that give you this offseason? You know, I think just having a good plan for the offseason. Um, kind of just going out there, uh, working hard each and every day, and just kind of taking care of your body so you can play this season. Uh, but, you know, just have the big goals in mind and just kind of looking forward to this season. Joe, when you see some of these prospect lists come down, and you're number one on a lot of them, what, what goes through your mind? You know, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Uh, you know, just very grateful that I get to be in this position and, you know, just kind of don't take anything for granted. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that would love to be in my shoes. So just kind of go out there and just play baseball. What did you work on in the off season? Uh, just a little exit velo, um, bat speed, and uh, just some short stuff things. Uh, kind of bat speed and exit velo to the opposite field. Um, you know, I kind of think I hit to all parts of the field pretty well, and I think just wanted to increase the exit velo to the opposite field, and then just staying low at short stop and working on throwing mechanics. In terms of short stop versus outfield, where do you ultimately see yourself? Um, I mean, I don't really care. Uh, you know, just whatever gets me in the big leagues the fastest, and you know, I think that wherever they want to put me, I'll play. Um, if they want to put me at Third, short, second, center, left. I'll play anything. So as long as I'm in the big leagues, the fastest. Jeff David Stearns has, has said that he really, you know, believes that guys should get a chance. You know, they're doing well in the lower levels and stuff. Have you been encouraged when an organization really kind of looks to the next, the next group of guys as, as giving them a shot? Yeah, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know that they're always just looking a step ahead. Um, I think that it's. Uh, I think it kind of takes the pressure off when you can just go out there and play baseball. And I mean, if you do good, they'll bring you up. And honestly, I'm not the person to really worry about too much. Uh, I don't really like to think about the future, really. I just kind of stay in the present. But for the most part, just ex excited for this season. Is there anybody in here in particular that you are looking forward to getting to know or working with? You know, honestly, everybody. Uh, you know, it's my first big league spring training, so just kind of talked to Lindor a little bit a couple weeks ago. Um, for the most part, just kind of meeting everybody, picking their brain, and you know, they have all the experience. Uh, so just try to pick their brains as much as possible and just see what they have to say. Did you see Lindor in person? or? Yeah, I worked out with him last week. Um, we had a little mini camp on the minor league side. Um, him and Vientos came over there and we all kind of worked out together for a little bit for a day or so. When the Mets kind of do what they do at the deadline last year and they bring in Luis Angel and Drew and all these guys, uh, what kind of goes through your mind as one of the prospects in the system? I think it's awesome. Uh, I think that, you know, having these group of guys uh, in the minor leagues and kind of working to get to the big leagues like myself, I think it's awesome. Uh, you know, I think from being try trying to be one of the best farm systems in the uh, whole entire MLB, I think that's awesome. Um, you know, I play with on hell and uh, Drew for a little bit last year in double A. And you know, just the competition is great. Uh, you know, I think me and funny thing, Drew was my host at Tennessee uh, when I was on a recruiting trip uh, my junior year in high school. So we kind of go a little bit back. So now I just got done off, or I just got off the phone with him last night. Did you tell him he was the reason why he didn't go? <laughs> yes, I always give him a hard time like that. <laughs> What was your biggest takeaway just from last season and the success you had and the way you rose up to the ranks? Um, I mean, honestly, I had a slow start to the year. Uh, but, you know, I think that you played six, seven, eight months. So just kind of don't get down on yourself. Um, there's a lot of baseball to play. I think that, I mean, I played 125 games last year. And my senior year, I played like 50. So I think the biggest thing was just honestly just kind of staying healthy the whole year and not getting hurt. Um, you know, I think that that's kind of how you get to move levels is staying on the field and not getting hurt. So I think that's kind of the biggest takeaway of just learning how to take care of your body, um, learning the little things to do, and, you know, just always asking questions and asking uh, any way to get better. How did your body feel at the end of last season? Um, I felt a little bit tired, uh, <laughs> but, you know, that's – I mean, I think I took care of my body the best I could. Um, you know, I think that 
just learning from what I did last year. Uh, I'm gonna probably take it into this year. Uh, you know, just trying to play as much games as possible, just in case if there's a chance that you get called up, I'm probably gonna play more games than I did last year. Thank you, Dale. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.